Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's uh, Marvin speaking. This is our third video on Rachel Hargreaves and also the topic of conversation is controlling the narrative. I just want to just comment on something that Hayley Comet um, had said. Let's get straight into it. Hi guys, so I want to make this video directed at Rachel Harg or Rachel Hargreaves um, which is the lady who's running the Find J Slater, Missing J Slater official page, the one with over 500k members. Now Rachel is Brad's mum and she's obviously flown out alongside Jay's mum in order to help with the search. But there's a problem because Rachel what you've done is you've used that group for your own gain You've used that group to make sure that Brad isn't mentioned. And I get it, you're a mum. But there's also a 19 year old boy missing. And that group hasn't once been used in a productive way to help find Jay. You've not asked for any dash cam footage, any doorbell footage. You've not asked for last sightings of Jay. You've not asked people from the energy festival to actually upload anything they may have with Jay in it. This is very, very odd. This was when I looked into this case, so, sorry, um, Hayley was on this case, um, I was on holiday two weeks before I was, and I think Jay had been missing maybe, I think probably a week or 10 days when I started investigating on this, because I thought, oh my God, what is, what the hell is going on here? Um, I was away and I remember listening to it and it was all over YouTube and all on the news and all in the newspaper and I thought I'm going to look into it when I actually got back. Um, and I did know a lot about Rachel um, Hargreaves and more recently what I've noticed is, I've not really done a video on her yet, but what I've noticed is um, a lot of people have got a lot of questions for her and that awkward interview with Jay's mum as well, which tells us a lot visually in it you've actually blocked people who have bought you valid leads the man who tried to tell you that his son had questioned people in the church would shut him down as soon as he mentioned jay's name you deleted his post and blocked him four days ago you were given that picture of jay the picture that hit the media yesterday of the boy in gray outside the church and you said that had been ruled out by jay's mum then yesterday it hits the british media that it may be the last sighting of Jay. That's three days lost because of that behaviour. Jay's mum posted yesterday about her opinions on the public's reaction to the GoFundMe page. Why didn't she use that group? If she had any control over that group, why would she use her own Facebook account when no one was gonna see that post apart from a few screenshots that were shared around? Why didn't she use her son's group as it was about the GoFundMe from that group? Why are you deleting all comments that say anything negative about you, yet you leave all of the comments that are negative towards Jay or his mum. It makes no sense. On the first day that group was made, when there was about 70k members, you said about people searching in Tenerife and said you were going to go on a search yourself. Since then, you've not mentioned any searching. You've not rubbished any of the rumours that have come out in recent days that have been so harmful to Jay's mum about her being related to Karen Matthews and all of that. You've ignored that. Someone said you were on a boat, so you actually come back and said, this isn't me, don't say this about me. Then you said the same thing when someone said that they've got a message. No, 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 this is a fake account. It's not a self-promotion page for you, Rachel. It's supposed to be used to find Jay. So why aren't you making one post that actually would help in the search of a missing 19-year-old boy? Why is that page being used to cover for people like Brandon, Brad, your son, and Lucy? because no one's allowed to ask valid questions. I have submitted to that group four times a request for an up-to-date timeline of who really spoke to Jay last and what was said during that phone call. And each time you've actually not approved those posts? No, How? no one has, no one has, no one has. I said in uh, my previous videos um, timeline is very, very important to show where Jay was. No one's given them that, given us that. It's very, very vague from Lucy, very, very vague um, from Brad. Nobody's talking and everyone wants us to shut up 
um, at the end of the day. And like I said, haley has got some valid, valid questions. And why aren't they answering those questions? Because I think they're quite simple to answer. If people were there with Jay, his so-called friends, why aren't they fighting tooth and nail for the truth? How can people find Jay if we don't even have a timeline to work from? Why has Brad not said anything? He put one post on his own social media. This boy's like a brother to me. I love him. I'd never let anything happen. But you don't love him enough to look for him? It's just really bizarre. That Facebook group is being used for your own gain. It's not for Jay at all. And somebody needs to take the control of that group away from you. You've gone out there to control a narrative. You've not gone out there to help at all. Not once have I seen a post where I thought, wow, they're actually looking for some information here. I just think that, um, thanks again, Haley, on that comment. Um, I'm just going to say, um, basically, what I've heard and I've looked at the, the Facebook pages. And it, to be honest, it's just a load of people talking a load of rubbish or a people that are supporting her. And um, she's got um, mods who are deleting people who are asking serious questions. Um, at the end of the day. There's nothing seriously or really concerning Jay. And like I said, if she had any consideration about what the public think or even Debbie thinks or, you know, or Jay's dad or brother, I think it's um, being dismissed and we've got to ask questions why. We move on to part three and interesting um video uh by a tiktoker about lucy may and a up let's get straight into the video well lucy may knows a lot more about jay's disappearance than she's letting on and especially about a up scene and it seems these two are trying to keep their names well apart from each other so let's break a couple of things down First off, let's talk about the times when Jay contacted Lucy. So in her first statement she made, she stated that Jay called her at 8 o'clock. i actually not slept at all since, since I've got that phone call at 8 o'clock. But in a second interview she did 72 hours later, she said that Jay called her at 8.30. And then I woke up to um, um, a phone call at 8 in the morning, around half 8. So which one was it? 8 or 8.30? Because that's a big time difference. Even then, the times don't match up with the screenshot of the WhatsApp location that was sent to her. As you can see from this picture, it says last updated 28 minutes ago. But look at the top of the screen. It says 8.49. So that would mean that Jay sent that to you at 8.20. So if he called you at 8 o'clock and said he was sending you the location, it took him 20 minutes to send that location across to you on 1% battery. And he definitely couldn't have called you at 8.30 if he sent his location before that. So make it make sense. Another thing that don't make sense to me is the fact that Lucy stated that when she was on the phone today, she said if there's one thing you need to do is listen to me. Yeah, very true. Um, I think that Lucy was controlling the narrative. Don't forget that she said she didn't know the two men that Jay went off with, went off with. So that is just telling me she wants to disguise her friendship with Aip and Rocky as people will see it as suspicious if she knows him. But also, but Aip has uh, come out and said that he knows Lucy. Um, due to being um in tenerife uh basically that's what he says or he's come across her a few times so they do know each other even if it's even if it's vaguely we do know each other but obviously we know that they um that um lucy possibly works for aup or is one of um his main connections because obviously a lucy was mentioned about um uh, potter papers um, shop before this incident happened um, with Jay so we do think there actually are connections there and we know that Lucy travels a lot as well um, 
I do think that they're hoping that this all goes away and, and, and stops. And I don't think, maybe now they're actually taking things actually seriously because people haven't stopped talking about this case and wants justice um, for Jay. But something's got to give, someone's got to give us some information that we don't want other young people to go through what Jay actually went through um, because it's absolutely terrible. And what we've got to remember people is that these people who've done this to Jay, they're still out there and can do it to someone else. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamer Entertainment and uh, follow the channel. And it's Ayub, not Arub. Um, I'm not too sure why <laughs> some YouTubers are actually calling him Arub. Um, because like I said, I said sometimes uh, people's stories and narratives and names um, change to go with the flow sometimes. <laughs> I just find it out. Um, um, Ayub, I'd say not Arub. Thank you wherever you are in the world. So we move on to part two and it's something that I've looked at closely um, over the last um, few days. I'm not going to play the, the whole video but um, just some of it which I thought was important. So still a bit you know I'm gonna walk and, and that's what apparently he said to his last person he contacted. I don't really know where I am, I've got 1% left on my phone, but I'm just going to start walking. But this civilization, it's a tourist national park, somebody must have seen something, somebody knows. I've done videos uh, on that and people get up early to go up to the Masca Mountains and there's a lot of people about. Even when I've just watched videos on the Masca Mountain, there's hundreds of tourists around cars going up and down you know i don't know how you can go um basically missing with so many people about that's what made me think in the early days that there's a little bit more to this case than meets the eye where he is you know somebody may be keeping him against his will i don't know there's all sorts going on in my head honestly it's just awful it's just awful he's not stupid he's not a stupid boy there was the main roads, there's bus stops there, there was cafe, little cafes, it's a hiking route, there's people about, people must have seen him, because if they haven't seen him, somebody's taken him, that's just, I don't know, I really don't know, I don't know, I just want him home, just, just please, just, just anyone that can just help, just anyone, please. What's, what's he like? He's just, he's just an ace person. Everyone just loves being in his company. He's life and soul. He, he is. He's a life and soul. He's a beautiful boy. He's, he's a good looking boy. He's, you know. He just needs to be here. He needs to be here. So are there particular questions that you need help answering? Well, yeah. Obviously, we need to know realistically who these people are he was with um and just i mean you don't just disappear do you it has been searched up there i've been up there myself this morning i was up first thing this morning searching his last pin location and there's, there's no sighting or anything like she said it, it is quite busy with people so people someone must have seen him you know i just don't know where what else to do <laughs> Just <laughs> where are you, Jay? Where are you? The thing is, in this um, scenario, I know it's it's really really horrible and sad to see um, Debbie like that. But I think the the Facebook group which Rachel made, I don't think any really good actually come from it because the information that people wanted to know um like Haley comet and what i do what other youtubers where is the timeline why can't we just get serious and have a timeline and maybe rates will come out um uh with brad 
and give us a time of what happened and obviously the last conversations with Jay, it, it just doesn't make sense and nobody's actually um, saying anything. So people are going to suspect foul play until um, these questions are answered.